Hi kids, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about ratio and proportions. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers indicating how many times the first number contains the second. For example, if a bowl of fruit contains 4 orange and 3 lemon, then the ratio of oranges to lemon is 4 is to 3. Consider another one example, cost of a pen is 10 rupees and the cost of the pencil is 2 rupees. How many times the cost of the pen that of a pencil? We know it's obviously 5 times. See the ratio of the cost of a pen to the cost of the pencil equal to 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 divided by 1 which is equal to 5 is to 1. There are two important points. First one is that two quantities can be compared only if they are in same unit. For example, the length of a pencil is 18 cm and its diameter is 8 mm. What is the ratio of the diameter of the pencil to that of its length? In this example, the length and the diameter of the pencil are given in different units. We first need to convert them into same unit. Therefore, length of the pencil equal to 18 cm which is equal to 18 into 10 mm which is equal to 180 mm. The ratio of a diameter of the pencil to that the length of the pencil equal to 8 divided by 180 which is equal to 2 divided by 45 which is equal to 2 is to 45. Next one is the same ratio in different situation. For example, the length of a room is 30 meter and its breadth is 20 meter. So the ratio of the length of the room to the breadth of the room equal to 30 divided by 20 which is equal to 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 is to 2. See another one example, there are 24 girls and 16 boys are going for a picnic. Ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys equal to 24 divided by 16 which is equal to 3 by 2 which is equal to 3 is to 2. To see these two examples, the ratio is same that is 3 is to 2. Note the ratio 30 is to 20 and 24 is to 16 in lowest term are same as 3 is to 2. These ratios are known as equivalent ratios. Next we will see about proportions. Proportions means that two ratios are equal. That is, if two ratios are equal, we say that they are in proportions. For example, Raj purchased 3 pens for rupees 15 and Anu purchased 10 pens for 50 rupees. Whose pens are more expensive? Ratio of number of pens purchased by Raj to the number of pens purchased by Anu is equal to 3 is to 10. Ratio of their cost equal to 15 is to 50 which is equal to 3 is to 10. Both ratios are same. That is 3 is to 10 and 15 is to 50 are equal. The, therefore, the pens were purchased for the same price. In this example, we can say 3, 10, 15 and 50 are in proportions, which is read as 3 is to 10 as 15 is to 50. Next, extreme and middle terms. If two ratios are not equal, then we can say that they are not in proportions. In a statement of proportions, the four quantities involved when taken in order are known as respective terms. First and fourth terms are known as extreme terms. Second and third terms are known as middle terms. Unitary method. Unitary method means the method in which first we find the value of one unit and then the value of required number of units. For example, two friends, Reshma and Seema went to market to purchase their notebooks. Reshma purchased two notebooks for 24 rupees. What is the price of one notebook? For this, cost of two notebook which is equal to 24. Cost of one notebook equal to 24 divided by 2 which is equal to 12. Therefore, cost of five notebook equal to 5 into 12 which is equal to 60 rupees.